For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of review on a very popular tent from Vango. So this here is the Vango Stargrove Air 600XL. So it's the second year the, the Stargrove's been in production uh, and it was sort of launched in 2019 and I think it hit um, a really impressive point where it was a, a free zone tent, so a sleeping, living and sort of canopy area, sealed canopy area tent um, at a, a very affordable price point. So going forward into 2020 season, they've only gone and sort of improved it again. So I think value wise, it does make it, you know, that much better than it was in the previous year, which to be fair, was pretty darn good. It's a, a nice and easy pitch tent. So you can pitch the whole thing, as you can see from our own at walls pitching and packing videos. So I've done this tent on, the on my own, the best part of sort of eight or nine minutes. Um, and it's, it's the joys of it means you could use it for a week or a weekend. It doesn't matter what the purpose is. It's very multifunctional. You've got obviously the enclosed area at the front uh, with the door and the door is in two positions. So you can obviously have it sort of half open or fully open to get the versatility of like almost like an open canopy or closing in for when the weather's a bit, well, a bit naff um, and just getting that sort of sealed enclosed area. Lovely PVC windows as well to get plenty of light and clarity through. So it means you're not missing out on the lovely views or uh, watching out where the kids may be. Yet again, go at points to give yourself nice and strong stability. Uh, and easy runners to help it make it that extra bit, well, painless to pitch the tent itself. Vango used their own special air beam valve, um, so it's actually physically twists and locks on, so there's no issues about it suddenly popping off mid-pumping. Uh, and you can check out our little video about the actual valve itself, about how sort of quick and easy it really is to use, as well as other functionalities it has. And you've only got one, two, what, five beams in total. All the main beams are the same size as well, so it doesn't matter if you want to carry a spare, you can pretty much use it and it helps, you know, further down lines that it's small things like that that do make quite a bit of a difference. Really nice strong tent. So you're talking 3000 mil is their uh, central active range. So it's where they sort of start in point with air. And what Vango try and achieve with this particular range is the fact that it's something that's, you're not compromising on quality. You're not compromising on, um, you know, the workmanship of it. You still get the same warranties you do with the top of the range tents. The difference being is actually it's the features built into it and the materials they use. So they use a box standard material, uh, unlike some of their sort of upper spec tents. So it's a very durable material, still very good. Um, but then again, you, you maybe lose some of the elaborate features, but you get down to the main core features you find in most tents itself. So it's basically hitting a price point, but not hitting it um, by expense of the quality or the workmanship. You've got a, a single, sort of side door here, which you can actually, if you wanted to, uh, bring out on king poles. It's great yourself like a little mini, mini canopy. Um, and of course, one big new innovation for the 20, uh, 20 season is they've now made a smaller version, which uh, this is the 600, which sleeps four people. They've also now got a four version, which I think is a cracking little tent. So this you can actually bring out Put, buy some additional king poles, it would be an optional extra, and then make a little canopy door out of that. So it's something you're using to your benefit, if you will. But I'll tell you what, let's have a look on the inside and talk through a few more features that the Stargrove has to offer. So now in Stargrove, you can kind of get a bit more of an idea for certainly the space you've got inside of here. And everything I'm gonna talk through now is exactly the same with the four that it is the six. So it's just the fact that the dimensions are a little bit smaller. Um, so you gain, essentially, well, you lose one beam in the length. So it's a bit more sort of shorter to here. So it's a bit more compact. And I think probably more I'd say that a sort of a small family or ideal couples tent, certainly if they're looking for something to start to get into the air. And that's kind of where this is all put towards. It's, it's aimed at maybe the first person air customer or someone maybe wants air, but necessarily doesn't want to pay the prices of sort of the sort of middle or top range stuff. So more of an entry level um, in terms of sort of features, but like I said, not as you're saying, not in terms of quality. So the canopy area also is fairly open. I've got the door wound right back now to give you a, a really good open canopy. You've still got plenty of room to put like a cooking unit or something like in there um, or storage for that matter. Someone needs the shoes, bikes. Um, so the joys of this fabric obviously because it's quite light, means that it's not too bulky. It packs down quite small 
um, which again is a big criticism of people who move slightly larger tents in the range. Mesh is a, a key feature throughout the tent, mainly to get a really good airflow to keep it a lot cooler, especially with the weather we've been having lately in the UK. Um, you know, ventilation is a very key part, more not only for keeping it cool, but also for condensation, because that's a real big bugbear at the moment. So mesh windows from between the sort of living area and in the canopy area, then your low level ventilation mesh beneath the side windows here. The windows on the side, they actually um, happen to be in the, <coughs> the canopy area as well as the living area. And you've also got toggle up curtains. So you get the choice of actually having it kind of halfway, alternatively have it completely up if you will. So I can demonstrate that now. So you can have it sort of halfway, nice and simply, and just gives you that a little bit more flexibility. Um, so you're not sort of, sort of resulting in where you need to go. And then full coverage, like so. So we flip that over the top, leave that halfway, a bit more privacy down below, but still allowing light to come through. Generally, in terms of height-wise, it's not too bad. Obviously, you can see there's a bit of not too bad headroom. When you get into the corners, still ample amount. I mean, about six foot two, and you still get a sufficient amount of headroom. But then again, you know, it's all designed to be uh, you know, a very good value tent. The side door, which we saw on the outside, can be rolled up or put on king poles, uh, like we said. Um, but on the front door as well, you can roll it aside and there's actually a full on mesh door as well inside of there. The thing I like about actually is the flow from the canopy area to the main living area. You've got a lip that comes up and down. So we've kind of got it half up at the moment. So it'll toggle up or toggle down. So again, it, it removes taking a trip hazard from one to another, especially with small kids. The last thing you want is them to go flying through a tent like Superman. So, and that way you can get the uh, coverage and the seal with that sort of flip up bathtub kind of style. Main Obviously, major change, like I talked about on the outside for 2020, is the darkened bedrooms. It's something that's been asked a lot about, uh, and it just allows you to, uh, you know, hopefully get a, a better night's rest or not wake up at the crack of the dawn. Um, and you've got it in a situated in a six berth um, for the six man or a four berth for the four. So the six is a, a two, two, and a two. Um, with the, div the dividers are sort of toggled between the two sections. Um, and if be you can open up to be a you know a four and a two, a two and a four, a complete one big open six berth. So with the four uh, version, same kind of premise. You know you've got a four berth with a, a divider in the middle uh, to do with it what you will. The inner screw remaining place. There's no need to take it out every single time you pack the tent away. That's a joy yet again of air. It makes it quicker and easier to pitch. You've still got core features like hanging point for lanterns, as well as um, you know little things like uh, Velcro tabs up here to store the cable down way to cable entry points, which you will find down in the corner. So you have to, you don't have to leave the, you know, the door open the whole time to enter the electrics into the part of the tent. You've also got um, little storage pockets built in to the little inner. Uh, so the intent, you've got little pockets in the corner, which allows you again to put things like keys or torches in the middle of the night. So you know where they are when you, when it's pitch black and you're trying to find your way out. Also things you've got is things like Bango's TBS system, so it's a tension band system designed to give a bit more stability as and when you need it. Most people don't tend to use it in all honesty, it's something they put in a high-end backpacking tents, but just kind of filter it down into their main core range. Uh, it's something you can use at your own discretion, you know. Just adds, if the wind's coming from one direction, it kind of tensions the point and keeps its rigidity and its shape. So that's a really great little thing as well. Um, it's a model we'll most likely have on display in our uh, outdoor showroom, uh, sorry, indoor showroom. At all, so it's worth probably coming by and seeing it and you know, see like I said, what you are getting for your money because it, it is quite a good little model. Um, but yeah, that is kind of our uh, video review uh, from At Walls with the Star Grove uh, for 2020 season in the 400XL and then the uh, 600XL, which we are in now.